how to find employees or contractors for your cleaning company okay so on this video i'm going to be giving you guys all the game on how to find either an employee or a contractor okay so first of all you need to figure out which one you want to go with all right there are several videos on youtube about contractors and employees um before i started my cleaning company i sat back and i think i watched every last one of them so that I can get a clear understanding of them both. <laughs> All right. So um, just to give you a quick rundown in, in contractor works for themselves and an employee gets taxes taken out and they work personally for your cleaning company okay they work up under you they wear your shirts and all that good stuff contractors are a little more freer they work for themselves okay so you don't have that much control over a contractor all right so the first thing i want you guys to know that i get this, i get asked this question a lot how do i find employees how do i find contractors well i only use three i only go to three places one is craigslist two is indeed and the third place i'll go is uh facebook jobs looking for whenever i want to uh look for in employees or contractors or whatever i usually go with contractors but those are my go-to places i don't use anything else i know they have zip recruiter and all that i've never used zip recruiter and all that stuff those are the three main places th that we will go when we want to look for an employee or a contractor all right so now that we got that part out of the way, a lot of people tend to say it's hard to find an employee and it's hard to find a contractor. Well, the truth is, it's not really hard to find them. It's hard to find good employees and contractors, people that are really quality people that want to work for you. And that's the real challenging part about it. OK, and before you even go out seeking for someone to work for your wonderful company you need to ask yourself why would someone want to work for you okay so why are they working for you and not working for the competitors out there hmm? what are you doing different in your cleaning company that your competitors aren't doing ask yourself all of these questions all right and make sure that you are offering them something something some stability okay because people want jobs so that they can take care of their families all right so you gotta make it make sense in the beginning i would always always vouch for you to either find a family member or friend somebody close to work with you i know i know it ain't easy working with family all the time okay i i completely understand that part but if you can convince someone it around your circle to come with you, help you out, that's always a plus. Always. But I always, I always I understand if you don't and you just have to outsource and you have to find somebody. You, you want to find somebody quality, right? People that care about working for your company. It's all about the care. All right. So um, another thing that you need to do is you need to pay attention to the description because when you write a description out of what you're looking for whether it's an employee or whether it's a contractor it needs to be speaking to each individual so if i'm looking for an employee my description would be solely speaking to an employee all right if i'm looking for a contractor then whatever my job description is it's going to be speaking to a contractor Okay, so the, the job description will explain how much the job is or what type of accounts it is and that type of stuff. Um, and for employees, of course, it'll have how many hours, uh, what the shift is, um, whether they get employee bonuses, uh, all the employee stuff. And if you don't know, another tip is go on um, and you can actually go on Indeed and you can look at other people's job descriptions and you can get an example that's how i learned because i didn't know how to write a, a job description when i first started so i would go on indeed and i would look at other cleaning companies job descriptions to kind of get the idea of how to even write a job description okay so that's another way that you can do it if you ever see somebody else uh hiring for a contractor then pay attention to the the description <laughs> okay because you can tell that it's speaking to a contractor all right 
So these are the things that I would always uh, pay attention to when I'm looking for an employee or a contractor. All right. Um, the next thing that I want to go over with you guys, since we already got the three places that you will go out the way. All right. We already got the fact that your job description needs to be speaking to each individual. Um, and then the last but not least, think about your company core values and think about why people would even want to work for your company and care to work for your company okay i would say that it's all about building the company culture baby it got to be something about your company culture that's fun loving where people are like man i want to go i want to go work over there i mean this person really cares this person is really paying us a decent amount of money this person is really giving us a lot of jobs like i think i want to go over here with, with with them it's a lot more smoother over here you know what i mean so for us i try to make our position like that like for all of our contractors i try to make it as smooth as possible baby as long as you can clean my accounts <laughs> okay we try to make the onboarding process as smooth and we try to make it as smooth as possible if there's any type of issues we try to handle everything smoothly as possible and we try to get everybody a decent salary and we just create that warm environment over here at Tenacity Clean for us. You know what I mean? Um, but in a nutshell, that's it. That's how you find your your um, your employees or your contractors to work for your for your cleaning company. You're going to go to those three places. All right. I hope I was able to add some value in somebody's life. Make sure you leave a comment down below like the video and purchase some of our merchandise i'll see you guys on the next video i'm out of here